Tonality and atonality are ill-defined terms with varying opinions about what each really means. Since my channel analyzes a lot of atonal music, I want to define what each term means in my view and suggest a third option that lies in between tonality and atonality, quasi-tonality. Let's begin with the fundamental aspects of tonality. There's two main criteria I use to define tonality. Is the music primarily composed of major scale set harmony? And does the harmony move according to traditional functional harmonic customs? The first criteria means tonal music is based on the major scale, or that every set used in any given moment is a subset of the major scale set. There have always been exceptions, like the diminished chord being used as a passing chord, but the other chords that aren't passing chords are generally derived from the major scale set in tonal music. The second criteria is a bit more vague and has to do with the many ways triads in the scale were traditionally moved or transposed. Functional harmony has a cycle made up of a beginning, middle, and end. Every triad in the scale can function as one of the three parts of the harmonic cycle. An example of a common progression that fits this is chords built off of scale degrees 1, 2, 5, 1. The most important relationship is the tonic-dominant relationship, which is like a yin and yang relationship that creates the feeling of a key center. A piece of music is more stereotypically tonal if it relies on all the traditional functions for each chord, but really the only necessary thing for a piece of music to fit this criteria is having a 5 to 1 tonic-dominant relationship. This criteria essentially has to do with the way chords move, with the common 5 to 1 movement being a transposition up a fourth. I define atonality as music that doesn't adhere to the use of traditional harmony and traditional functions. Atonal music does not fit either criteria of tonal music. Atonal composers like Schoenberg totally obliterated the rules of tonality trying to liberate dissonance and would use all 12 tones equally using 12-tone serialism. Scriabin, however, made a gradual transition to atonality that retained a lot of traditional notions of consonance, harmonic continuity, and even starting and ending on the same focal pitch. What makes Scriabin's late-era music atonal by my definition is that entire compositions use sets outside the major scale, and traditional functions like 5 to 1 are not used. I do argue in my series on Scriabin's atonality that his movement of a tritone is similar to a tonic-dominant relationship, but this is a very non-traditional movement for a tonic-dominant relationship. I like using the term quasi-tonality to describe the vast amount of music that fits into the gray area between tonality and atonality. Quasi-tonality, as far as I'm concerned, has one criteria of tonality, but not the other. For example, a neo-soul band like Moonchild might use a subset of the mystic chord, but use it as a dominant five chord, resolving up a fourth to the tonic. <laughs> Debussy has pieces that exclusively use sets from the major scale, but utilize them in a completely non-functional way. Roughly speaking, Scriabin's early era was tonal, his middle era was quasi-tonal because in most of those pieces he evades traditional functions of harmony, and his late era is atonal because the harmony is completely outside the major scale and doesn't move harmony according to traditional customs. There's a lot of gray area in determining which category a piece of music fits into. For example, Scriabin's fifth sonata has parts that exclusively use whole tone and mystic harmony, but mostly relies on major scale sets used non-functionally. I personally am satisfied with saying it lies somewhere between quasi-tonality and atonality. A lot of people don't like the term atonal because it sounds like an oxymoron. The term I was told to use by my music theory professors is post-tonal but it seems that the most common vernacular term used is atonal. Some people consider tonality to mean music with a key center, and while this definition fits many pieces that are obviously tonal, this definition is way too subjective and open-ended to make judgments on the myriad of edge case pieces, not to mention that sometimes there are focal pitches in atonal music as well. It usually isn't important to label a piece of music by one of these terms, but I figured I'd make some pragmatic definitions so people could get an idea of what's meant by these terms. I invite you all to join the Discord discussions, like, comment, subscribe, and consider donating.